Hi, this is a short video just to give you a quick introduction to halogenoalkanes. Okay, the link to this is that you've already done work on halogenoalkanes, especially of how they are made and produced. We looked at free radical substitution earlier on in the organic section of Unit 2. Right. So, halogenoalkanes are their own homologous series. The general formula is for every carbon you have two hydrogens plus one. So if you have two carbons, you have two times two plus one, so five hydrogens, and then X, where X would be a halogen, either fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. Okay? So we'll get some examples. You've already seen before how to name these really, but let's refresh your memory. So here we've got chloromethane. That's for methane, where one hydrogen has been swapped for chlorine. This makes a tetrahedral shape, so all the um, halogenoalkanes will be tetrahedral, just like the alkanes are. So all their bond angles are 109.5 degrees. And there are two more examples to give you a bit of practice on naming. So this is two iodobutane. So we've got one, two, three, four carbons and iodine coming off the second one. So because it could have been in position two or one, we need to put the two there to show that it's coming on carbon two. It's carbon two because we count from the side, side that gives it the lowest number. Here we got um, two, two dibromohexane. So hexane because there's six carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six. Dibromo because there's two bromines, and two, two because they're both on carbon two. You have to put two twos because they, they could be on different carbons. It could be on carbon 1 and carbon 2. So we're showing that both of them are on carbon 2. Okay? 